Hey everyone, Sky here to discuss The Mummy, the 1999 version, starring Brendan Fraser, Rachel Weiss, John Hanna, Arnold Vosloo, Kevin J. O'Connor, Jonathan Hyde, and Patricia Velasquez, and directed by Stephen Summers. Now before I get into this review, I must say, I didn't see this movie in theaters because, number one, I thought it looked kind of dumb and scary at the same time. Number two, my mind was already clouded that year for... Star Wars The Phantom Menace, and we all know how that turned out if you saw my review of that thing. So, I watched it one day at a, what they call, they used to call it a save-on store, and then I saw a clip from it, and it looked kind of silly, but then I rented it before The Mummy Returns came out and figured, you know what, I should give this a look. And that was like back in 2001 when The Mummy Returns came out, so... Let's get into the movie, and we'll see how I feel about it now. We open with Imhotep, played by Arnold Vosloo, who's the Pharaoh's high priest, betrays the Pharaoh with the Pharaoh's wife, Anaxuna Moon, played by Vel Patricia Velasquez, by killing him with Imhotep, and she kills herself, and Imhotep takes Anaxuna Moon's body to Hamanatra, City of the Dead. I, I had to do that, I'm sorry. Um, to resurrect her, but is unsuccessful as the Pharaoh's bodyguards come in and and Imhotep gets his tongue cut off and gets mummified and is put in a tomb. And this is an op this has an opening worked in a B movie kind of way, in my opinion. We pick up in Egypt in 1923, where we meet Rick O'Connell, played by Brendan Fraser who I don't see working anymore these days, and there's reasons why, because 10 years later, he's gotten to the point where he's made one bad movie after another, and I like him in this movie. He's like the Han Solo of the series. After a battle with the Egyptian, he awakens Imhotep, and that scene was fun at best. Three years later in Cairo, we meet Evie, played by Rachel Weiss, who works at a library and she also reads and writes Agent Egyptian. And I'll see why next movie. And we meet her brother Jonathan, played by John Hanna, who finds a key and a map from back in the day. And I enjoyed these two as brother and sister as they find Rick in jail and try to get him out of there before he gets hung to death. And this is a popcorn entertainment B movie that works as well as the original Robocop, in my opinion. They get on a boat where they go to Hamanoptra as they are on the way. The ship gets approached by Benny, played by Kevin J. O'Connor, and some robbers and jump off. And Benny feels like a two-faced character as he's, as he's always betraying O'Connell at best. And the actor does, a good, does do a good job with that like he did in There Will Be Blood, the Paul Thomas Anderson movie with Daniel Day-Lewis which I reviewed before, and the action in this movie was a hell of a lot of fun for me. They get to Hamanatra with the fastest camels and horses and get underground and having a Mexican standoff three times, which was hilarious. Then next thing you know, one guy has Egyptian beetles in him. The one that was the... What's his name? The He was the, the guy that almost had O'Connell killed at one point. Um, I can't remember his name, but moving on. And next, oh yeah, I already said that. Has Egyptian beetles in him, and the they get to nighttime as they get ambushed by Ardeth Bay, played by Aldead Fair. Tells Rick, leave this place or die. Which I get why, because the, the place is cursed. And Rick teaches Evie how to fight, and I really like these characters, and these scenes are fun and hilarious to me. The next day, the other half of the group opens a curse. Meanwhile, Rick, Evie, and Jonathan opens the mummy's tomb, and they find the Book of the Dead and some Egyptian treasure at night time. Evie rides, reads the book to resurrect Imhotep, the mummy which is when the movie gets as fun as the original Robocop. For example... Bugs coming to kill people, and a guy loses his glasses, as well as his eyes, and tongue, and the mummy has, as the they get separated, finds Evie, 
And the way the mummy moves is a pretty good special effect. They run into Ardath Bay and tells them to leave, and they finally listen. Meanwhile, Benny bumps into Emeltep and shows them the language of the slaves symbol, and he keeps Benny alive, and the special effects around the mummy is pretty spectacular, but it's third best compared to The Matrix, which I will be getting to next year, and Star Wars The Phantom Menace, the movie that I already reviewed, but was more looking forward to than this one. I found the way the mummy is afraid of the cat quite hysterical, in my opinion. Emotep is halfway done with his work and kills two other people from the mission and almost completes it by kissing Evie, but Rick comes in with the cat again, and Imhotep has an army of people saying, Imhotep! Anyways, and it's corny as hell, sure, particularly Jonathan joining in as he was faking it, and the main librarian gets killed, the guy that looks like, I don't remember his name, but you know what I mean, he was in Daredevil, but... And the movie is a little bit too long, but I'm still having fun with it, in my opinion. I, it's, it's a fun movie, at best. Let's move on. Evie's gets captured by Imhotep and Rick and jo with Jonathan and Ardeth Bay have hire Winston to use his airplanes to fight Imhotep. And Evie, for some reason, kisses Imhotep. Uh, other than to save Rick, Jonathan, Ardeth Bay, and Winston who unfortunately dies and gets by quicksand as Imhotep takes Evie and Benny back to Hamanatra. And Rick, Jonathan, Ardeth, and Ardeth Bay go in after Evie and fight Sim, some mummies while Imhotep resurrects Anaxuna Moon by using Evie's body next to hers. And Jonathan has a book to keep Anaxuna Moon dead and Rick comes in to the rescue until Jonathan awakens an army to kill Rick as he screams at the mummy, and they scream back. And the look on Brendan Fraser's face, man. It cracks me up, and he runs away. <laughs> Hysterical. Rick almost is almost dead until Jonathan tells them to kill Anaxuna Moon. And Jonathan and Evie make Imhotep mortal. And Rick kills him. And Hamanaptra goes down. And Rick, Evie, and Jonathan get out of there alive. And Benny gets killed, which was a fun final action sequence. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 8.3 out of 10. The special effects are pretty good in this movie, and I like the characters. The action was quite a hell of a lot of fun, like the original RoboCop. This is a fun popcorn entertainment B-movie, as it was very entertaining, as it is a little too long, but it's a good time at the movies. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me, and next week I will be back with The Mummy Returns. And until next time, it's time to kill the mummy.